I'm Austin. I'm going to be reviewing this merge request from a UX perspective and I'm both recording this with the intent of seeing how I could do better, but also to show the things that I'm thinking about um, and trying to work through as I review specifically merge requests that I'm not the one responsible for. Like I did not come up with a design, I'm just merely reviewing the UX for them. So last Friday, I was tagged um, to review this change. And so I did a little bit of homework um, last week, but I wanted to record most of the review today. So up front, it's telling me that um, I'm gonna be working on something related to deployments as it pertains to environments and that deployments should have approval options. Users can view previous approved and rejected comments. I'm not super familiar with this, but knowing it's gonna be dealing with like environments and deployments, um, probably also needs to have some sort of like runner to be running these pipelines. So my first thought is, I don't really wanna work with my GDK because I don't have all my runners set up on my new computer yet. And that'll just take a lot of time. So I'm hoping the review app will be my best option. Um, this looks like the environments page, looking at a specific one for staging. You can see, I mean, there's some wonkiness with the buttons, but perhaps that was already there. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I can actually see that myself if I'm um, in GitLab. I don't think I have permission to see that. Um, let's go to Canary. Yeah, I don't, I can't see the buttons. So I think it's a permissions thing. Um, okay, and then there's some sort of modal. Details about the job, current approvals, comments. Okay. Got to set up. Okay, so they added some YAML. So I need to add this to a YAML file. I need to run the pipeline to create the environment, then protect the staging environment. Okay, then run the pipeline again, log in as a different user, approve the deployment and then go back to the staging deployment and view previously approved deployments. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the main issue and see if I can discern what the goal is here. Okay, user experience goal. The user should be able to view the comment from a reviewer about their approval or rejection decision for a deployment job. Release note will be, you can now see comments left by the user when reviewing deployment, providing more context as to why the manual job was approved or rejected. This functionality is also useful for organizations and highly regulated industries. I need to apply a release note, so that makes sense. Okay, so in the environment detail page, display a thumbs up button if the deployment associated protected environment requires approvals, which opens up the pop up. Okay. After the deployment is approved by all acquired approvers, the thumbs up button is still present for the deployment. Clicking this button opens up the pop up with the history of approval and comments. Okay, permissions and security. Okay, so add expected impact in. Okay, so I'm guessing this means that visitors, guests, reporters can't see this. Developers, maintainers, and owners can. Not sure if there's a difference between the group or project owner in this scenario or maintainer. It's premium, so need at least that. Okay, 
Emily's working on some follow-ups. Show multiple appointment approval comments when multiple approval rules are completed. Oof, that's gonna be tough. Okay, so I think this is just showing this thumbs up button and the modal. hear my wife playing music in the background. I don't want the one for docs, I want the one for just good old regular. Let's see. What would be helpful is to have a review app for master branch so I can compare and contrast. Hmm. Do I have a merge request that I've been reviewing that might be able to help me do that? Maybe I could cheat with this one. Hmm. No, this review app is gone too. Could just go go merge requests milestone two point three go for updated date. Maybe I can on this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> understand I don't need anything crazy I just need something as a review app that I can piggyback off of a review app. 
I don't want to set up runners. Make sure we pick something. This one here. Um, let's go with badge test project. I guess I hope I'm not unschedule this for deletion. Don't know if that matters, but oh, it's being scheduled for deletion because its group is. QA test. Everything's scheduled for deletion. Group. This one also scheduled for deletion. All right. So, still waiting for that to run. But let's get two tabs going. Okay. Let's see if we have any environments under deployments. <clears throat> okay, nothing. So we're going to copy this. We're going to go to. protections, pipelines, okay, it's running, that should create the deployments. Go ahead and open up the settings. We need a protected environment, there's the required approvals. So right now I am in admin, but I'll need to add a user of every type. Okay, so let's invite So that should be all the roles are specified in here. Um, guest reporter, we'll type, we can try no access. I'm not sure that would be possible. We'll see. All right, cool. So now we got that. Staffing and staging, production setup. All right, passed, boom. Selected environments. Staging allowed to deploy. Um, we'll just say maintainers. Didn't really specify. Protect. All right. I don't know where this takes me. No staging deployments. True. 
All right, let's run that pipeline again. So this time I expect it to get hung up in staging. Waiting for approval. Go to environments page to approve or reject. button for approval options. Now it said to sign into somebody else, so we gotta use that member list. Make a new tab, go to users. Uh, let's go ahead and see what like a developer gets. Impersonate them. All right, so let's refresh this page. Okay, so I can't approve it. Okay, probably because I'm the developer and they said maintainers can only deploy. See the uh, buttons again. No buttons here either. Um, okay, so let's do somebody else. Let's pick the maintainer. Keep in mind. Where's my. Um, didn't one of these open up the profile? Sign. First name. Okay. Resend. Okay, so I can see buttons as a maintainer because I can deploy. All right, all right. Approval options. Hey. So I don't think this was anything part of the change. We are just getting the approval in. All right, so approve. Oh, no, waiting. It's on. There must just be a delay. So now it's been deployed. So let's look at staging. Ah, okay. So got the play button. Ah, uh, yeah. That little, that little weirdness is already there. That's I'm gonna say it's outside the scope of this one. So there's no plus, and I think that was the intent. Was so users can view the previous approved and rejected comments. with no comment. I'll, um, I'll test that next time. All right. Um, so I think that's it. Let's see if this is finished building. Hey, we got it. All right. So nice. Just going to do the same thing again, basically. So this is my Firefox test. Remember, 
letters to this. Five members. Unfortunately, this review app has no users in it. Okay. All right. Need a user. Demo. Demo. Regular user. start out with the maintainer. All right. So same thing again, we're gonna go CI CD. Um, now we're good at editor. Go to pipeline. I mean, this is handy. Um, commit the change. All right, so we still haven't gotten to the actual review portion yet because I still have still working through setup here, but then I'm gonna have to try and test in Chrome Firefox. I'm, tr I'm gonna do just maintainers. Um, I mean, I guess I really could test developers maintainers and like, they're just, there are a lot of different roles and options here. And I, honestly, I don't really feel like it's worth testing every single case, like maintainers and administrators checked or demo and developers plus maintainers or just administrator and demo and then adding the user. Like there's a lot of different options. So I'm just gonna, pick one and hope that it's extensive enough for our purposes. So if it's a finish. Okay, so I don't see any approval comments yet. I wonder what this is gonna I wonder if this will have a thumbs up if there were no approvals. Let's find out. Mm. Based off the screenshot, I'm guessing not. it off again run pipeline no variables just run it and now we're gonna impersonate this demo user and go back to environments okay so this one needs approval approval options comments are optional for this one, I'm going to try putting no comment in. Probably should test both. Okay, well, let's try no comment. Let's try comment first. Comment first. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if really big comments gonna break this or not so let's let's see so there's a character limit 
let's just say Exactly 250 characters. All right, so then let's actually. All right, so let's. Okay, I think because this page isn't okay, it is just slow. Like this isn't part of that review request, but I mean, perhaps that button should be disabled to prevent users from clicking on it again, like I did earlier. Um, getting error, but that's fine. All right, let's open up the staging. All right. And right off the bat, noticing that the focus goes straight to the user. Hyperlink, cancel, close. Okay, so this is where I think the review actually starts. So let's um, go through here, fit the tab order. One of the things that I had done last week was I asked Emily a couple questions. Um, so I was asking her, like, how does the user experience differ? She was clarifying to me that it's to always show the thumbs up button. So it's there. I've got a comment. I mean, I guess I could hypothetically have more than one comment in there. Test a second comment? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, well that looks right. Let's um let's get all the data in at least. Okay, let's check the different roles. Let's stop impersonation. My dog might lose her mind in a second. Tell stop. Demo. Uh, I can't. It's gonna happen first. Looking for users. Sally. to add them, but let's add one more. Users, new user, I think. 
Since the issue didn't specify anything about auditors, roles, or administrators, I, I, I'm guessing I shouldn't test those things. Um, members, invite members, demo, dev, developer, invite. Invite members, demo, guest. Okay, we have maintainer, developer, guest, owner, got all those roles. Um, and then I guess, I mean, I'm guessing this page is going to be inaccessible for just a random visitor. Yeah. But is a project, okay, project is internal, so let's change that. Sally, chill girl, it's fine. All right, <laughs> all right, I'm um, gonna go up here, make this public, general, public, okay. Fresh. Okay, so that's still private, but I should be able to now make this public. There we go. Save changes. All right. Let's refresh this. Let's go back. Go to monitoring project. Okay, now I can see it. Let's go to deployments, environments, staging. Cannot see. Cool. Got it. Cannot see the comments, which I believe was the intent. So I'm not going to bother testing that one anymore. Now let's go over to the settings. I need to impersonate users. So let's start. Did I make a oh yeah, maintainer is demo account. So let's go ahead and impersonate demo developer. Refresh staging. I guess I already had that tab open. You can see how it differs. Buttons are gone. Okay. So let's stop the person in there. Let's go back to users. Um, need to demo, do demo guest, impersonate, refresh. Okay. So an unknown user, a guest, and developer. None of them can see the comments. The maintainer and the owner, Sally, stop. They can all see the approvals. Now let's go add a second comment and see if we can try and break this experience a little bit. Um, let's see, let's kick off another pipeline. Run pipeline, all righty, it's paused. Let's go back to good users, gotta make that. Actually, you know what? How would I end up with multiple comments? If, uh, okay, now that I'm thinking about it, how do I end up with multiple comments? If I don't know how to get in this scenario. Oh, 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 
okay, okay. I can get in the scenario if I need more than one approval. All right, Let's see if these settings changes the court rules to don't want to unprotect. So now I can add more than one comment. Um, approval options. I'm the admin. Just do it. Approve. Oh, okay. Can't approve my own deployment. All right. Didn't know that. So, hmm. Guess that's a good little counterbalance there. Let's go back to users. Demo. Maintainer two. So I'm gonna add a different maintainer. Actually, I'm gonna add a demo owner. Just to see if anything else comes up. Current user, and I just, because I'm way too in the weeds of this. So now we're going to impersonate demo. Well, got to add demo owner as an owner. Right. Refresh. We got developer guest maintainer owner. All right. So go ahead and open up this new tab. Grab the owner role. Impersonate. Refresh the environments. Okay. Boss says so. Approve. Don't, am I not impersonating? somehow stopped impersonating. What's going on? Okay. Weird. Staging approval option. I think that it was just like a weird edge case. Okay, so I have to click on it again. I mean, again, I don't think this is part of the change, but it is kind of odd that I can hit approval options again. Mm, yeah, that's not ideal. Um, but might be being addressed, so let's now switch users. Impersonate the maintainer, okay. We're gonna stop. So I can even go into the staging environment. I could go there. I could also go here, it looks like. What's going on? Got approval options. Test. Push it. Let's try. Let's turn on voice. Voice over on system fire. Okay. Imp, imp, voice over off. Please stop freaking out. 
I don't know how this happens sometimes, but sometimes it really freaks out. I think it's because I'm maybe doing Loom. Voiceover on system preferences. Accessibility window. Firefox. And visited link. View deployment. Main. Open live environment. You scroll. Image. Review. Image. Rip link. Change MRE.jit. Menu. Visited link. View dip link. Monitoring. See metrics. What? You are currently what? on a link. To click this le link. QA user A97569CV013TB. Oh. List okay, now in environment. So middle of dot. Git lab instance. Visited link. Let link. Stop entering table. Link. Update. Dot git button. Approval options. Okay. You are currently on a button inside of a cell. To click this button, press control option space. Enter. Approve or reject deployment number six. Dialog link at demo owner. Approving will run the manual job from deployment number six. Rejecting will fail the manual job. Environment staging deployment here. Staging manual job. Deploy staging current approvals. One two avatar at demo owner approved two minutes ago. Cop. cop. Copy branch name. Copy branch name. Banner. Don't, now in don't environment. Know why I just middle of dot GitLab right. instance slash monitoring. Middle of dot GitLab window. Link at demo owner. You are currently on a link inside of a dialog. To click this link, press Control Option Space. To exit this group, press Control Option Shift up Link Demo. Image review. Inv image review. Image review. Appro approval options. Approve or reject. Click this comment optional. Edit E F G Space F E F Space up R over reject but approve button you are currently on a image review image review for merge request link right. voice over right. off draw voiceover I think that's it um my first page I don't know where that environment went that I just approved We got a production of their comments. No, no comments in production, just because it was commented in staging. Staging. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Um. I mean, it all seems to work as described the cancel button feels redundant didn't know there's already an X there like there's no other no other actions to take what's weird too is <clears throat> It's like giving me instructions. Not like that. I can't approve anything. You know, I didn't check. I didn't try rejecting it. So. Let's try that. So this will give me a nice chance to test the maintainer role. Now, man, I'm not even trying, like, what happens if I pause, whatever, but I'm the boss, so no thanks. Reject. in there. So let's tell me the job was rejected. It was in job was approved. Hmm, what is this? 
Okay. Um, I think I've tested everything, so now I want to test it in Chrome. I'm not going to test all the functionality again, but I just want to make sure like there's no weird key binding issues. And it does seem like the main focus is on the staging page, which I'm not trying any other additional environments. I didn't try adding a dev environment or a pre-prod or a canary and then like comments in production. I, I'm just sticking to the only path that I had available to me or suggested to me in the merge request. And I mean, so far it looks like it's doing the same thing that I had in Firefox. All right, so let's try voiceover, enable. Chrome, chip E dot G, link, oh. GitLab, image, link, 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 stop, entering table, link, link, main, button, group. You are currently on a button, group, inst approval options button. Approve or reject deployment number eight, dialog link, at root. Cancel button, link, at root. C close button, button table eight columns, link, success, link, image, administrate button. Approval options. You are currently on a button inside of a cell. To click this button, press control. I mean, it's, 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 it is a little distracting. Approve or reject deployment visit link, link at but visit I think cancel that's... button. Button, Correct. table, eight columns, four rows. You are currently on a button inside of a cell. To click this button, press control, option, space. Um, okay, so that's fine. And then... Let's Search try. A, at, at, A, at, A. Okay, Search for absolute commands. Chrome, voice over off. Now let's try Safari. So there's some weirdness here in Safari. I can't get to the next comment. Um, what about that person's account? It's just in here. It's skipping. Okay. Voice over again. Safari. Environments, middle of dot, you cancel button. There you go. You are currently on a text element. Button, table, eight columns, button, button. You are currently on a button inside of a cell. To click this button, approve or reject deployment number, cancel button, close button, banner. Okay, so that's going to be part of the video can't too. Close, cancel button, close, can't, 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 one other thing I want to check is what happens if I, I mean, th this should definitely happen. If I like take away the license, which I mean, this will be annoying because it will destroy. <sighs> I'll destroy the whole thing. Yeah, that's, 
comments disappear all right so that all looks good um, all right so here is what I will say all right so first thing um, Safari modal skips a I'm assuming she says she's gonna have some follow-up issues to improve the experience, but this is where I'm just a little unsure of like, you know, do we mean to say this? Um, what else? I think that's it. Yeah, I think, I think that's the main stuff. This would have taken a lot longer if I had a review app. So that definitely expedited the process a bit. Um, but I think that's it. I mean, perhaps it would be useful for me to know why, like, on the deployments page, we should always show the deployment approval options. I mean, I see there's a so that, so that users can view the previously approved rejected or comments. But I mean, really that could be pulled from the issue. It's just a matter of having to go back to it. Um, see if there's anything else in the issue that I missed. I think, I think I got it all. I can view the reason. I can review the approval of rejection decision for deployment job. Like I don't think I, I could have done all the edge cases, but I think I did as many as I could. And I mean, the important thing is I don't have to wait for the Safari portion to get resolved. So. All right, I think that is going to conclude this session and I will leave the feedback friendly.